Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick sketch to show you how I paint grapes and I've put a few berries in the corner of the painting um, because they are fun to do as well. If you enjoy the video, please help my channel grow by giving me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos and thank you very much for watching. I'm using acrylic paints, titanium white, primary yellow, raw sienna, raw amber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. I'll be using paint brushes of course but I'll also use this um, pencil because it's got a nice round eraser about the size I need for the berries. I'm going to start off with a rigger brush and some raw sienna and sketch in my stems. I've already painted my canvas with a mixture of French ultramarine blue and titanium white to give me a, a background. I'm pretending that this bunch of grapes is still hanging on the vine. You can see the sky in the background and I'm putting in uh, not only the stems but some little twirly twiggly bits just to make the painting interesting. I'll also put in the outlines of the leaves. Um, they have five lobes so I'm going to put the lines of the veins in because it's easy to paint a five lobed leaf if you know exactly where you're going with it and um, so I put those five lines of the veins in first. I'm using a round brush and you can decide which size to use depending on the size of grapes. I'm mixing primary yellow and sap green together and I'll add titanium white to that to give me a good mid-tone which I'll add my shadows and my highlights over that mid-tone. But first I'm going to use um, a semi-circular movement to paint one side of the grape and then turn my brush and paint the opposite side of the grape and that way I can get a better circle. I haven't decided how many grapes to paint exactly. I'm just eyeballing this. Whatever looks good, um, that's what I'll go with. I'll go ahead and overlap some of the grapes. It'll look more natural that way. Because I'm working with a puddle of paint, I'm getting variation in the color of my grapes, but don't worry about that. I'll still go ahead and put on my um, shadow and highlight. I like to pick up quite a um, thick amount of paint on my brush and um, I feel that grapes would be a great thing to do with an impasto technique, adding, um, adding a paste to the paint. I think it would look really good that way. I might try that one of these days.
I've decided there will be some blackberries in this corner. Um, I used to pick them as a child with my mother and um, we'd go out into the countryside, pick blackberries and mum would make blackberry jam, really delicious jam. I'm mixing alizarin crimson and French ultramarine blue to give me a dark mauve colour, um, a really deep purple which I'm going to use for a shadow. I'll use the eraser to stamp in my berries. Um, if the colour doesn't come out um, as nice as you would like it the first time, just go over it. That works. I've also used a Q-tip for this, but you do need to dip the Q-tip in water first. Otherwise you get little strings of hair and um, that takes away the nice round shape of the little berry lobes. I'm not doing very many, just a few to give you an idea how I do these. I'll just do five. I like to paint in odd numbers. Don't ask me to count the grapes. I didn't check, keep a check on that. Um, but five berries gives you an idea and they look good without doing anything else to them. But I will add a little dot of light and I'll also add a little alizarin crimson which is um, transparent and it will add a little a richness, not on every berry but just here and there, I'll dot it here and there. I'm going to use this quarter inch flat and some sap green mixed with primary yellow and um, a little titanium white. And I'm going to dot in some small leaves around the berries. I won't make a huge fuss of these leaves, I will add a little shadow, but um, first I'm putting down my mid-tone. great leaves quite difficult to do and the way I attempt to do them is to pull in the um, brush stroke from the outer edge in towards the center of the vein and I paint each lobe separately and uh, sometimes they look better than others but I'm really showing you how to paint grapes and berries in this um, little study so I'm not going to worry if these aren't perfect. They need some shadow and highlight, but the basic shape is there. For the shadow side of my grapes and the shade on the leaf, I will use French ultramarine blue mixed with sap green that gives me a nice dark green.
don't blend my um, brush strokes very much. I kind of like to see the brush stroke. I know some people do. For the highlight, I mix primary yellow into that um, mixture of green that I already have and add some titanium white to that. And that gives me a highlight color. But I will go over that after this has dried a little bit. I'll go over it with some titanium white to make um, a little even brighter highlight. Now I'm going to put some shadow on my leaves. I'll do the same for my berry leaves. I took a short break to allow the paint to dry and I'm going to use this round. It's a sort of, I think it's about a number six, I'm not sure. And I'm going to stroke on some titanium white to give me a highlight but um, as it dries it dulls down a little bit so I will go in a second time and apply more white paint. I just have to allow it to dry a little bit, not too long, five minutes or so. I'm using the tip of my rigger brush to apply white paint to the berries just to give them a little highlight. Mixing primary yellow with alizarin crimson to give myself a nice orange and I'm going to reinforce my stems with that. I'm using the French ultramarine blue and sap green to give me an even darker shadow. I usually go over my stems with several different colours. Um, I feel it makes them look more natural.
I'm putting a highlight on my leaves with the pale green and I might even go over that again. We'll see how it looks in a few minutes. I sometimes forget to um, make sure my brush is dry enough um, but when you're painting with acrylics it's okay you can just mop it up with a um, paper towel Quite often use um, alizarin crimson on my stems, on trunks of trees, places like that. I think it adds a lively quality to my paintings and I just love that colour. Um, I also use it on my leaves sometimes because it is transparent and you can uh, see right through it then. So it sort of gives a, go uh, a red glow to things rather than... Um, it has no opacity, so you don't get it a block of red, you just get a red glow. I'm going to add some crimson to my berries as well. Um, you often see that on berries, don't you? Some of the little lobes are bright red or green, and um, when the, it's just when they're coming up to ripe, but they're not quite entirely ripe. I'm adding straight titanium white um, to highlight the grapes. I, th I think it looks good like that. It gives them a gloss. Mixing a very pale yellowish green to add more of a highlight to some of my leaves, not all of them, just a few. Well that's it really, that's how I paint grapes and berries. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel grow and I'd really appreciate that. 
and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.